going on guys? I uh, got a pickups video here, some really cool stuff to show off. Um, I just thought I'd post this quickly. I haven't put up a video in a little while. So uh, the next video you'll see after this will be my 2014 room tour. Um, quite a bit of new stuff from um, last year. So well worth checking that out. So uh, keep a look out for that. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm almost at 5,000, which is um, absolutely insane. I I, people say this all the time, but I never thought that I would get to 5,000. 5,000 is uh, a big, no, impressive number. Um, and again, feel free to check out the Facebook channel or Facebook page. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. Lots of cool stuff. I post everything on there. Um, anyways, I'll get right to this. My battery hopefully won't die on me. Uh, just about a half hour ago, I picked up a Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Collector's Wii U, um, fantastic deal. I couldn't really pass it up. It was two hundred and ten dollars at a local or a chain bookstore here in Canada called Chapters. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one and sell off my other one, or give my other one to my nephew for Christmas. I originally was going to give him the white basic set. I may return that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm probably going to keep this one for myself. I'll give him the. Um, download code for the uh, Wind Waker. I'll set that all up for him before I give it to him. Picked this up for my son, just a Mario um, little action figure. <coughs> I think it was 10 bucks. Uh, he is really getting into Mario, so he'll love that. Picked up a Ninja Turtle. It's a foot soldier. I've been looking for the for this one for a couple months. Um, I should have grabbed them all originally. I just decided to grab the four turtles. Uh, really cool figures. Uh, very close to uh, the ones that were out when I was a kid, so I'm buying them now. I'm going to keep them sealed for another year or so and open them up when he's a little bit older. I opened one and he already lost the sword, so uh, I'm kind of anal about that stuff. Um, I also picked up these figures. I couldn't pass these up. I saw them at Toys R Us here in Canada. They're the um, the retro classic uh, TV series Batman, the Burt Ward, and um, um, uh, Adam West series. I, I love this as a kid. Super campy and cheesy, but in a good way, really, really fun show. And it's got the classic uh, them going up the side of the building. It was filmed sideways, I'm sure you guys know that. Also picked up the Joker and the Penguin. Really cool figures, really well done. Um, these were, I think, $15 each. The uh, Batman and Robin was 24 from um, Amazon.com. I had them shipped to Florida where I have a relative, so. That is very helpful. Uh, I posted on my Facebook channel a deal on Black Friday for um, these Namco Mad Cats Tournament Edition fight sticks. Really, really gorgeous fight sticks. Uh, these are the PS3 version. They had a deal on Black Friday. Um, like I said, posted it on Facebook. That's the kind of stuff that you'll see on my Facebook page. Deals like that that I end up scooping up. Um, uh, so basically, these were $60 each. It came with two games. You had to add two fighting games. I got uh, Soul Calibur 5, Tekken 6, and uh, two copies of Tekken um, Tag Tournament 2 for the Wii U. The games are kind of a secondary thing. Uh, $60 each for Tournament Edition Fight Sticks. These are numbered. There was only a thousand of these made, so they're pretty limited, actually. Um, 693 this one is. I got two of them. Um, they come in these all black boxes, not the greatest display boxes, but um, there's a theme here, um, all black. These are absolutely fantastic. The one thing that surprised me is there's a square gate in there, which I'm not a big fan of. I like the, uh, oh geez, what would it be, a hex, hexagon, I believe. I, I prefer the hexagon gate better than the square gate. It's, the gate is just like um, inside, you can feel it, it's a square. I don't know how I explain the gate, but... Um, really, really amazing deal. Uh, kind of get screwed a little bit with um, shipping in Canada. The brokerage, they wanted to charge me $30 a stick. I was actually able to call them and get it down to 20 bucks total, so $10 each. So, obviously, a absolutely insane deal. Um, next up, I got a stack of Dreamcast games. As I said in one of my other videos, I'm desperately trying to complete my uh, Dreamcast collection. Um, so I bought these all retail at a local store in town, uh, Good Time Games, very nice store, very fair, 
Um, I'm definitely gonna do a lot more shopping there. Picked up uh, 18 Wheeler. A lot of these I thought I had. When you get to as many games as I have, you think you have almost everything, but you'd be surprised at what you don't have. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, have that on the PS1 and maybe something else. NBA Hoops. Roadsters. 102 Dalmatians. Silent Scope. F1 World Grand Prix. Revolt. Nothing too spectacular in here. A lot of just games I don't have. Qbert. Hopefully these are focusing for you guys. Samba de Amigo. Soldier of Fortune. Test Drive V Rally. So extremely happy to get those. I think I'm at about 140 games. I ordered um, some of the more expensive ones from eBay. They should be coming any day. I ship them down to the states. My parent or uh, my wife's parents are at their condo right now, so it's anytime I can use Amazon.com over .ca, um, the deals are far better. Or same thing, eBay. I got them from eBay. Uh, free shipping, and you can't beat that because shipping to Canada is a nightmare, which I'm realizing even more and more now. Um, it's impossible for me to ship to the states. Like even those posters I showed off, for me to ship something like that, it's going to be like minimum ten bucks, which is absolutely insane. Um, unless I'm shipping within Canada, it's really not worth me shipping anything. That being said, I am still desperately looking for Dreamcast games. So if you guys have any that you want to trade, we'll fi I'll figure something out. I'll, um, I can always get you to ship them to the States to sa save on shipping. I'll pay the shipping, of course. But, um, so yeah, let me know if you have any Dreamcast games. because I really want to complete this Dreamcast collection. My favorite system of all time. And I, I just don't find them garage selling or pawn shops. Up here, thrift stores, nothing. Um, I guess the last thing was this copy of NBA 2K14 for the Xbox One. I traded my copy of Rise. I beat it. Um, really enjoyed Rise, actually. Uh, to a friend of mine, he wanted Rise. I'm just going to probably trade this in at the um, the Future Shop Best Buy deal that I, met, I mentioned. Um, you can trade in any game before January 2nd here in Canada and get a $40 credit. Um, so that's it. Stay tuned for uh, the next video will probably be the room tour. A ton of new stuff in this room from what I showed last year. Um, some really big pieces, so uh, be sure to check that out. Should be coming anytime. I've started filming. I might have to split it up in two segments just because I've got so much stuff now. And um, yeah, please, please, um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, that really really helps me out helps me get my videos out there and seen by people other than my subscribers which is um, really really helpful um, yeah thanks again all the new subscribers almost at 5,000 I am trying to think of something to give away for 5,000 so uh, once I hit that I'll once I post in the new year I'll go into and probably do a uh, 5,000 subscriber contest and give away something super cool again so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and um, Check out the Facebook page. I really, I'm really pimping that. I should really stop. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Later.